I'm Marcel Zama. I am directing this piece. Welcome to my rehearsal. Everybody follow out. I know it's difficult to see with a mask on, but too bad. Not all of you will make the cut, but come in anyway. Excellent shot. Are we getting a picture of this? I've been drawing since as long as I can remember. It really connects all the artwork that I do, like through film and to sculpture. The inspiration really can come from anywhere, from the news or reading a book or old mythology. And then humor has always been very important to my work. I also did find moving to New York, like the claustrophobia of being surrounded by people was happening in my drawings as well. So to put some order to the chaos, I would make it into these large ballets or kind of large performances. I'm creating an installation for the promenade at New York City Ballet. There's these two large Nadelman sculptures and it felt like a giant chessboard, the two of them on either side. There'll be uh, two large projections of a chess game. One side will be red and the other side blue. And so it's a bit of like a dance off of chess pieces. One side is played by Amy Sedaris and the opposite is uh, Jason Grizzle. Amy also plays the director of the film. Male, female, just nod if you're male. Interesting. Next! A lot of the pieces were influenced from the actual ballet that I'm putting together with Justin Peck and Bryce Desner. It's called The Most Incredible Thing. It's a Hans Christian Andersen story. Some of the characters will appear in the work in the promenade as well, and original sketches and ideas for the costumes. And it's been really exciting to just have that crossover exist with each other. I have a sketchbook beside my bed, and I kind of write down ideas that kind of pop in just before I fall asleep. At least three or four of the costumes <laughs> came during that time period. There's this kind of 4 a.m. hour feel to a lot of my work, I think. And it's nice to see it in live action now. It's been really inspiring. <laughs>